Oil problem number one is three degrees slabby. And I think it was intended to be relatively easy boil problem, but high risk boil problem due to the slopey and slippery feet on the volumes. So it's not necessarily difficult to top it, but it's quite difficult to top it in the first try because you can slip quite easily, unexpectedly, especially in this transition of your body towards to the right. I was a little bit nervous about this last move, but it was all right. So I was pretty happy that I didn't make any mistake and I topped it in the first try. Ball problem number two is slightly overhanging, maybe three degrees overhanging. And it's all about being very quick in the very beginning and then being very well coordinated, doing everything just with the right timing. Again, that's a ballroom which is not necessarily hard physically, but it's very difficult to do it on your first try or in the least number of tries as possible. The trick is that you have to be very quick now, just as you go up, but then when you get the right hand shoulder and matching your feet on the volume, you don't really have to be necessarily very quick, just with the perfect timing. And that is something that only if you are an amazing competition climber, you can do it on your first try. Otherwise, you just need to figure out what to do to get it into the muscle memory. And then once you know what to do, all of a sudden, it feels easy. I expected that the last part would be quite hard, but it was actually quite easy. I was confident that I wouldn't fall. Bowler problem number three. This one is very powerful. The very top is quite coordination oriented, but the beginning is so-called 360 move. So you start of this press, get into very tiny right hand crimp and you jump into an okay slopey hold. And then you have to get this hold and finish the 360 move. As I was a little bit hesitant in my first try about what to do, in the second try I was pretty sure what I should do. But the finish of the 360 move was actually way harder than I expected. You go into something that seems like a total jack, but as you get a bit of swing and the right hand is not so good, it's quite slopey, pretty hard to hold it only with the left hand. So this will be the try number three and I just need to commit and do everything without single mistake because I know that this boulder is physically like on my limit. time this move was really easy. I was trying to find the whole, the right swing of the body. It was close, but unfortunately not. Still have a bit of time. So no top, no zone on this boulder, but there is another one. Boulder number four. It was quite steep. It looked like it would be coordination at the beginning and then powerful on slopers with a toe hook on the top. To be honest, at the beginning, I had no idea what to do with the first move. I thought that the idea is obviously jump left hand into a gas zone, which looked really aggressive for my left shoulder. And I was a bit hesitant whether to really commit to that, because uh, I always feel like my shoulders might injure in these kind of holds. So I was trying to like cheat my way through it. 
well, at certain point I just didn't see any any way, so I just let go because I just didn't want to lose the power, especially the max power, just from hanging there in one point. So just step down and just decided that yeah, there's probably not gonna be any cheating way through this and I will commit jumping with the left hand. Still here, not really giving in 100%, just to check out the movement, but I could feel that it's possible and on my next try I should do it. Only later on I talked to the root setters and I actually found out that the easiest way was to jump right hand into the underclink while pressing the left hand against the volume, which was actually much easier. But this time, stick the shoulder move. The timing was really good. Uh, it wasn't even painful for the shoulder. And now it was just committing to it, doing everything quickly, because these holds are really slippery. You sweat a lot, and I did the top. I think the top was quite hard. I was pretty happy that I did not fall off. Ball problem number five was really special. At first I didn't really know what to do there. I thought it's just a very strange foot match at the beginning. So I was trying to start with the right foot on this chip and then I realized that it's impossible to match. It was obvious that it's a 360 in a slabby wall and then continuing with the jump running across the wall into a good side pull. Very interesting move. I was very close to sticking it on my second try. That was very frustrating. And yeah, for my third try, I just thought like, yes, it has to be the one. I can't waste any more tries. It is definitely a move which is not very often to be seen. And there are tiny details which were kind of hard to understand. So I failed on my third try, despite being really close on my second try. But now I thought like, I just cannot rush it. I have to focus, I have to be really delicate and really precise and to be able to do it on the next try. didn't do it. I did not exactly panic that I wouldn't be able to do it within the right time. Every attempt would count, so uh, these few mistakes would maybe cost me a lot. So even though this is not really physical boulder, you can really give a try basically every 10 seconds and you don't really get tired. I just took a bit of rest, but more like for focusing in order to commit and execute everything perfectly. So this was a very interesting set of boulders, very unique moves. I think it's a great challenge that even you could try to find five boulders and climb it within the five minutes of time limit. It's a good challenge and it climbs a completely different way to climb under the pressure of the time. I think I could have done the boulder number three, which was the most physical one. I did not really climb it with the easiest possible beta. The second half of the boulder number three was just amazing. This amazing swing from a jug into the left and finishing with the right hand press. A really unique move, which is not very often to be seen. Not necessarily very difficult, but just really fun to climb. 